everybody. Today we sort of have a special story time with Kathy. As today, yes, it's Friday, but it's also one of those special days in our church calendar year. It's Good Friday. It's the day that we remember that our Lord Jesus Christ was put on the cross um, and died for us. So yes, while we remember it is a sad day as we remember, but as today is Friday, one of the things that we have to remember is that Sunday's coming. And when Sunday comes, it is Easter. We celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ and we celebrate the love that God has for us and the grace that he has given us through that gift. We have a special book today to read, um, Jesus is Risen by Agostino Trani. And um, it's really special because it's a pop-up book, you know, and it's going to take us through today and through uh, Easter and the resurrection until Pentecost. So let us look at the story. It had been three days since Jesus died on a cross, and his friends were sad. They missed him. That morning, two women brought spices to the place where Jesus was buried, but the stone in front of the tomb was rolled away. Inside, a man dressed in dazzling white clothes greeted them. Where was Jesus? Do not be afraid, the angel said. You are looking for Jesus, but he has risen as it is no longer here. The angel pointed to the place where Jesus had been laid. Look for yourselves, the angel said. Now go and tell the other disciples. The women were amazed by what the angel had told them. They ran as fast as they could to find the disciples. Suddenly a man appeared. It was Jesus. Greetings, my friends, he said. Teacher, the women were amazed. Jesus was alive, standing in front of them. The disciples were hiding inside a locked room, scared and uncertain. Jesus appeared among them and said, Peace be with you. At first, the disciples thought they were seeing a ghost, but Jesus assured them it was him. Come, touch my hands, hear my voice, see that this is your friend. Jesus appeared again as Peter and some of the disciples were out fishing. At first they didn't recognize him, but as the other disciples were pulling up the heavy net full of fish, Peter realized it was Jesus and he jumped into the water. Once they were on shore, they all had breakfast together. Fish, of course. Jesus took the disciples to a mountaintop. He told them, Go and tell this story to everyone you meet. Baptize them, teach them, and remember, I am always with you. Then Jesus rose up into the air and ascended into heaven. A few days later, the disciples were all together. Suddenly, there came a rushing, mighty wind. It filled the entire house. Little tongues of fire appeared over each person's head, and all the disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit. They began speaking in different languages, languages they'd never spoken before, all of them talking about God together. Now they were ready to go to the whole world to tell them the good news about Jesus. And what good news that is. From the empty tomb to Jesus' appearance to the disciples, it is the story of his triumph over, over death. And remember, today might be Friday, everybody, and we might be sad and we might be uncertain about what's going on. But remember, Sunday's coming and it'll be a joyful Easter. And as Jesus has loved us, remember that Jesus loves you. Happy Easter. Happy Friday. Gage is the video.